Hi there. My name's John Woods from the Woods Farm YouTube channel, and this is one of our submissions to this year's International Quarantine Car Show put on by DBoss Garage. Um, this is our build project of an SD KFZ 222 armored scout car. The goal of this project for us here at the Woods Farm is to uh, create a running driving uh, replica of the scout car on a budget. This year for the car show, we're entering the scout car into three categories. We're going to enter it into bracketry, um, we're going to enter it into ingenuity, and we're also going to enter it into the revive and drive category. So for this project, our plan is to have it done in about three years, and we're into year one, and our goal was to have a running, driving uh, chassis that we could build the replica body on top of. Um, so we've succeeded in that goal. Uh, we now have a chassis that uh, runs on its own power, it turns and stops. And to get there, we basically spent the last year uh, building nothing but brackets. Um, the steering system is completely custom made uh, to suit this application. In fact, it actually uh, utilizes parts from an ATV uh, gearbox. And also we built the steering wheel using uh, a basketball hoop. Um, a lot of other uh, custom work and fabrication went into this. Um, things like mounting the master cylinder, um, building uh, a shift shifter mechanism. Um, we had to build brackets to move the alternator into a more favorable position and uh, we had to build custom brackets and mounts to uh, put in the transfer case. So the reason we're entering into the ingenuity category is because, well, aside from having a Chevy Small Block 350, um, the real reason is the fact that the engine is actually mounted in the rear of the vehicle. Um, now, we did this to actually follow the original design of the SD KFZ 222. Um, it was originally designed with the rear engine, and the reason for that is it's so the driver can actually sit a little further forward, and we needed to replicate that uh, so we could actually better copy the proper body lines and shape of the car. So a lot of creativity had to go into uh, designing the chassis and making the rear engine work. Um, but right now we have uh, forward gears, reverse gears, and everything works like it should. So the reason we're entering into the revive and drive category is because uh, this vehicle is a true Frankenstein, uh, literally pieced together from uh, dozens of junkyard parts from uh, several different makes and models of vehicle. Um, the transmission is a power glide um, that goes into an MP205 uh, transfer case which uh, best I can tell probably came out of a Ford. Um, the axles um, came out of a three-quarter ton Dodge from the 80s and uh, the front axle is a Dana 44, the rear axle is a Chrysler nine and a quarter inch and all of that is linked together with uh, homemade drive shafts that I pieced together here in the garage and ultimately we ended up with uh, a running driving chassis. So now that we've got a running and driving chassis the next step is to start building the body and uh, that is our project for next year. The plan is to build the main part of the body next year and then year three we're going to work on the uh, gun turret and finish off all the detail work. So we're really excited to be entering the uh, scout car in this year's International Quarantine Car Show. I uh, just want to say thanks to DBoss Garage for uh, putting on this awesome uh, international car show where all kinds of unique builders can get together and show off their vehicles. Um, good luck to everybody entering the car show this year. Um, if you're interested in the scout car, you can go over to the Woods Farm YouTube channel and you can see the full build uh, there. We're up to uh, episode 15. And uh, this build is going to be going on for a few more years, so you can see us uh, progress uh, on the YouTube channel. As always, thanks for watching.